If your external synthesizer accepts MIDI control messages, also known as MIDI CC, you can use Push to control and animate practically every MIDI parameter your synth offers, record the changes in parameters, and even step sequence them to animate your sounds in a unique way and make the most out of your external gear. To get full control over your synth, you need to go through some easy to follow steps. Here's how it's done. We've shown you how to connect your synth with Push in another video. Be sure to check this out if your synth isn't already set up. In order to control your synth's parameters, you need to send MIDI CC data to it. We've created a Max for Live device that makes this really easy. You can find a link to this device available from this blog post or in the description of the video. The device has eight knobs where you can set the MIDI CC values for each one to control the respective parameters of your synth. Most synthesizers have a MIDI CC table indicating what parameters are mapped to what MIDI CC values, so you can assign the particular parameters you wish to use to your Max for Live device. Once you've assigned your MIDI CCs, you can group the live devices and assign them to the macros of your instrument rack. This allows you to name each macro so that you can see them in the display on push. Another great thing is that you can add more live MIDI or audio effects to your instrument rack to create some great custom presets to use with your external gear.